Hey guys, welcome back to the Mercenary Brush. Welcome to a new painting series based on the brand new Iron Ravens faction of the Space Marines, initially created by Paul Norton from the Games Workshop Heavy Metal team. To kickstart the action on this video, we're beginning with a base coat of Cantor Blue on the shoulder pads, the chest plate, thigh guards and knee pads. For this step, it's important to get smooth coverage, so work quickly with a milk-like consistency of paint, and you should be able to get a smooth coat. If you don't know what the Heavy Metal team is, imagine a team of miniature painters who are tasked with painting miniatures in a very specific way to get very specific results for the box artwork of Games Workshop miniatures, and you won't be far wrong. I'm not hoping to emulate heavy metal style here, which involves a metric ton of edge highlighting, among other techniques. Don't get me wrong, there is a lot of edge highlighting on this miniature, but it is mostly in areas that people focus on, like the face and chest of the miniature. The scheme basically comprises three main colours. A steel metal, which is based with lead belcher, a blue, which is based with cantor blue, and a red, which is based with mephiston red. Once the coat of Cantor Blue is dry, we can go right ahead and shade the miniature. Today, we are recess shading with Null and Oil. If you aren't quite sure how recess shading works, take a look at the video in the top right hand corner of the screen. Next up, we start with an edge highlight of a mixture of half Cantor Blue and half Calgar Blue. If you want a guide on how to edge highlight, I have another video masterclass dedicated to the technique for you to look at in the top right hand corner of the screen. Go around and create an edge that borders all the sections you just recess shaded. This will create a nice contrast and add depth to the surface. If you wanted to try out this scheme with Citadel's contrast paints exclusively, the colours I would pick are Basilicanum Grey for the metal, Ultramarine's Blue for the blue, and Blood Angel's Red for the red areas. If you do that, let me know, I would love to see it. The next edge highlight is Calgar Blue. After this, the next edge highlight is Fenrisian Grey. Survival. 
And the final edge highlight on the blue is Blue Horror. Next up, we start the red sections. On this miniature, it's the weapons casing and the helmet and the knee guard. We start by base coating in Mephiston Red. For the first edge highlight of this part, we're going to use Evil Sun Scarlet. The next edge highlight is using Troll Slayer Orange.
And the final edge highlight for the red is using Fire Dragon Bright. In the next stage of painting this miniature, we're going to shade the silver with a one-to-one -one mixture of null and oil and gloss null and oil. Next, I paint the metallics in three parts Abaddon Black to one part Lead Belcher. Paint the leather belt and the holsters with Rhinox Hide. Shade the leather and the weapon metallics with Null and Oil. Paint the plasma coils with Sotec Green. Wash them with watered down Temple Guard Blue. Wash again with Blue Horror. Next up, we base coat the shoulder trim and chest eagles and any little skulls with the Retributor armor. Then, we wash those areas with a 1 to 1 ratio of Reichland Flesh Shade and Reichland Flesh Shade Gloss. Paint any weapon grips with Abaddon Black.
Apply a glaze of auric armor gold to the gold areas that you would like to shine a little bit more. Apply liberator gold to the shiniest areas of gold to make them very bright. Apply Caliban Green to the eye lenses. Glaze on Waywatcher Green towards the center of the lenses, that is towards the nose, to create a highlight. Paint a thin line along the bottom of the lens with Moot Green. Now we start the basing. To start with, I added some slightly thinned down PVA glue to my base, being careful to avoid the miniature itself, and then I dipped the base in sand and shook it off. Once it's dry, you apply Mournfang Brown very thin so that it soaks into the sand, and then let that fully dry. But while you wait, use that Mournfang Brown, but a thicker version of it, to add a highlight to the leather. Next, paint the base trim in Steel Legion Drab. And you can add transfers to your miniature as desired. With a dry brush, after your base is dry, add some Zemesi Desert to a paper towel. And then, brush it into the bristles and remove most of it from the brush. Then you can dry brush the Zemesi Desert over the sand. Repeat that process and dry brush even lighter with Usharpti Bone. And that is how I painted my Iron Raven's Hellblaster Sergeant. I hope you enjoyed the journey with me and I hope you'll take this opportunity to paint one yourself and show me what you think. If you want to support the channel and enable me to make even more videos for you to digest, then there's a link to my Patreon campaign in the description where you can pledge your support. That's all for today and don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends. See you again soon.